What's up, y'all? Netflix TV, The Corning Rainbow, and I'm back with another sew along for you guys with my new spring Nomi pattern 2081. And it features two jumpsuits. Um, we have a pants view and a shorts view. And for the short view, view A, we have long sleeves. And for view B, we have no sleeves. So you can have fun with this. It's a maternity pattern, but it's also non-maternity friendly and it's an oversized jumpsuit you got plenty of room to just have fun eat all the pizza ice cream whatever you want just before we're going into summer so it features um, a button-up placket and we also have pockets because that is necessary and this is also a jumpsuit that you can wear postpartum and you can nurse in it as well so what i've done i've worn all views out already and I just unbutton and pull it out and I can pretty much feed while also wearing uh, the carrier so I really love that about it and the buttons go down far enough where you can just kind of whip it out <laughs> so if you're thinking about making this uh, postpartum or you just don't have the energy to sew while you're pregnant that's okay too so I want to talk about the different fabric choices that you can use for this pattern. Um, the pattern suggests uh, chambray's, cotton blends, double gauze, lightweight twills, linen blends, polyester, and rayons. Um, you're also going to need an interfacing for this pattern uh, for the plackets. I would also go a little bit against the grain on this one and use a knit just because the flow of this pattern with a knit would be just as nice and you'll still have if you want to size down a little bit because it is an oversized pattern if you wanted to size down and do a knit you still have that wiggle room to really you know do what you need to do to get in and out of this thing i love the different options that the pattern has and I think that you guys are gonna be really happy with it. It seems like a really straightforward and it's also listed as an easy pattern. So I hope that you have fun with it and that you enjoy it, that you feel free and unrestricted this spring and summer. I also wanna add that this is the first of Nomi's maternity patterns and I really wanted to do a maternity pattern because becoming a mom was just so special to me and it has been so special to me that I wanted to really share that with you guys and I also don't see a lot of maternity patterns on the shelves or even available I hope you guys enjoyed this so along and I hope that you love this pattern just as much as I do is very near and dear to my heart for so many reasons because we have this little bundle of joy here and she's getting to be able to enjoy this jumpsuit as much as I am. Let's go ahead and get into the sew along. All right, so first we're gonna grab our um, back pieces and we're going to pin them right sides together. And uh, we're gonna be stitching right along our uh, back seam. I've also gone ahead and pinned down my pocket pieces with right sides together to my front and back pattern pieces. We're gonna just go ahead and pin them to the back because we have our back already. And we're going to be stitching our pockets at 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. So just along the pocket, 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Make sure you match your notches and your dots. All right, go ahead and head over to the machine. And with both back pieces, we're going to be stitching our back together at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. And also stitching our pocket down at 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. All right, once you've gone ahead and sewn your back piece together at your uh, center and crotch seam, go ahead and press your seams open. So I went ahead and surged and pressed my seams open. 
and you should have at the top of your back pieces in that center seam you should have two markings these are going to be for our pleat so go ahead and meet your markings at your center seam and pin So we're folding, we're folding that to form our pleat right over the top of our center seam on both sides. All right, once you have folded your pleat together, we're gonna go ahead and stitch straight across. We're doing a basting stitch at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. All right, so we have formed our pleat now you're going to grab your yoke back one of your yoke backs you should have two and we're going to match right sides together you should also have a marking on the edge of your yoke so go ahead and pin all right go ahead and head over to the machine and stitch down your yoke to your two back pieces at 5 8 of an inch seam allowance all right, once you have sewn down your uh, first yoke to your both back pieces, we're gonna go ahead and fold this under. And with the wrong side facing you, we're gonna go ahead and pin our second yoke with the right side to the wrong side of the fabric. So go ahead and pin. All right, go ahead and head over to the machine and stitch this down at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. If you want, you can just go over your existing stitches from when you base it down your first yoke, back yoke piece. All right, so we've gone ahead and we have stitched down both yoke pieces. So this is gonna be our yoke facing. So um, I've pressed the seam allowance towards our uh, back yoke and the facing is laying downward and it is right side to wrong side. Let's go ahead and put this to the side and work on our front pieces. All right, so on our front pieces, we should have stay stitching around the neck edge. Also stitch where our panel is gonna go here in this corner. So if you haven't already, go ahead and um, do your stay stitching on both front pattern pieces. And I have gone ahead and pinned my pocket right side together and we're going to be stitching our pocket down at 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. All right, once you have sewn down your pockets to your front pattern pieces, go ahead and we're going to stitch at the shoulder seams, the front and the back. So grab your back piece and make sure you are matching your back yoke and not your yoke facing. So your yoke facing should still be on the inside we're gonna be pinning right sides together. So these are our two front pieces here, pin at the shoulder seam. You should have notches as well, so go ahead and match those up. All right, go ahead and head over to your machine and base down both shoulder seams at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. All right, so I've gone ahead and based down my shoulder seams. Now your wrong side of your front two pieces should be facing you. And what we're gonna do, um, if you prefer another method, you can do that, but we're gonna be doing the burrito method. So we're gonna fold our two front pieces into a little burrito. All right, so once you roll everything up, you should see your facing of your yoke. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pin. And this is gonna be wrong side of our front to right side of our facing, our yoke facing. So go ahead and pin. You should still have a notch here so you're gonna still match up your notches. All 
All right, go ahead and head over to the machine and base down your yoke facing to your front two pieces at shoulder seams, stitching at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. All right, once you have basted your shoulder seams together, we're gonna go ahead and pull this out. All right, so we're turning this to the right side. So I am using linen, so this did get a good bit of wrinkles here, so I'm going to press this and then after you press, if you need to, go ahead and stitch down, base stitch down your yoke pieces at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. And then we're going to attach our pocket. All right, once we've basted down our yoke at our armholes, we're going to go ahead and put this to the side. All right, so you're going to grab your pocket. And I've gone ahead and I've uh, surged the raw edges of my pocket and I've folded under with wrong sides together the top upper edge at one fourth of an inch seam allowance and I've gone ahead and pressed that upper edge. You should have a fold line. So what we're going to do is with right sides together right on our fold line we're going to stitch at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance along our edge of our pocket and we're going to stop on the other side and turn everything right side out. Go ahead and head over to your machine. All right, so I've gone ahead and stitched the pocket down at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. So now we're just going to cut just inside our seam. so that we can turn our pocket right side out. All right, turn your pocket right side out. All right, so those stitches that we stitched around our pocket, we're gonna go ahead and press. And on your corners, you're gonna fold in your corner first. And press so that we can create a nice, sharp corner there. All right, once you have your seam allowance folded in, go ahead and give everything a good press. And then we're going to catch that fold and we're gonna top stitch our pocket right along that seam here. All right, so once you have um, top stitched your pocket, catching that fold on the inside, go ahead and you should have two markings on your left front pattern piece. So I've gone ahead and you may not be able to see those, but I have them there but I also did some pattern matching, so make life a little bit easier with matching up my pocket here. And you're going to meet those corners at those markings and pin down. All right, let's head over to the machine and edge stitch our pocket down. So I am using my edge stitch foot and we are going to stitch around the edge of our pocket. All right, we have sewn our pocket down on our left side. Now we're going to stitch at our crotch, our two front pieces. 
you should have a notch right at the crotch of your front pieces. So we're gonna match those notches up with right sides together. Go ahead and stitch down your crotch at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. All right, so I've gone ahead and stitched my crotch all the way through and I went ahead and I snipped into the corners of where we're gonna be placing our placket. And the next thing you're gonna to want to do is understitch your pockets on the front only. So on both front pieces where you attach your pocket, go ahead and understitch. Now we're gonna match front to back with right sides together. And we are going to go ahead and close off our pockets. So we're gonna head over to the machine and we're gonna stitch down both of our side seams. But you wanna make sure that you are leaving the opening between the small dots so that you can have a pocket opening. So um, you're gonna start from your uh, armhole, go down to that first marking, and then we're going to stitch close our pocket. And then we're gonna start from the next marking and go all the way down our side seam. So let's go ahead and head over to the machine and you're gonna do that for both side seams. Where the pocket meets our side seam, we're gonna snip, not cut it into our seam allowance, stitches, press your side seams open. But before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and pin our inseams together. Match your notches. All right, head on over to the machine and we're gonna be stitching our inseam at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. And don't forget to press your seams open on both your side seams and on your inseams. All right, so we've gone ahead and stitched down our side seams. Now go ahead and uh, finish off your uh, narrow hem on both of your uh, sleeve openings. After you have um, done your narrow hem, we're going to go ahead and work on our placket. So I went ahead and I attached um, my left side placket. And um, on your opening of your placket, we did um, trim right at the dot and we did stay stitching. So in that corner, is where you're going to stop your marking. You should have a marking on your placket and we're gonna stop right at the edge of that uh, stay stitching, the corner of that stay stitching that we made prior to sewing, every, uh, sewing our front pieces together. So go ahead and grab um, your placket and with right sides together, you should have two notches. Um, the notches are at the top edge we're gonna go ahead and pin, and I am doing some pattern matching, so it should be a little bit easier. Um, you wanna make sure that you press the unnotched edge of your placket and trim down to uh, one fourth of an inch for um, the outer with the outer unnotched edge of your placket. So let's go ahead and pin, and um, here you can see that I have fold, my fold line so that when we do fold our placket, we're gonna be using this guide here, our fold line as well, and we're going to be pressing that inward. So go ahead and pin right sides together. All right, go ahead and head over to the machine and stitch both plackets with right sides together to your front pieces at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. All right, so I went ahead and um, 
folded in my left side placket and I edge stitch and I stopped at that marking that we have at the end here. So what you're gonna do um, on your right, right front, trim down your seam allowance to about one fourth seam allowance and then we're going to fold just over that inside stitching seam here. Okay, so let's go ahead and trim. Press your seam allowance toward your placket. Okay, so I've gone ahead and do, done that and we have a nice uh, press here and pattern matching is okay. Now we're going to fold at our fold line and I'm going to go ahead and pin. All right, let's head over to the machine and edge stitch our placket down. So I am starting on the marked end of my placket. And as you can see that little triangle there where we have our stay stitching, I'm starting right at the corner and we snipped inside so that we can fold, we can put both plackets together and put them inside and stitch down the plackets together. Edge stitch right at the dot or at your marking. So once you've edge stitch, um, I like to press my plackets after I stitch them down, down just in case I need to adjust the placket as I'm stitching. But as you can see, we caught the placket underneath and I did use a black thread so that you can see those stitches on the inside. So the placket is nice and secure. Now we're going to lap our right placket over our left. So match them together. And then we're going to fold, fold it towards the inside, okay? So from the inside, we have that little triangle That little triangle of fabric is what we're going to be stitching through all layers. And uh, we're stitching both of our plackets together on this, this edge here. So we're just catching it straight across. All right, so make sure your plackets are lined up. And that your seam allowance is opened up for your crotch. We're just making a straight stitch at five eighths of an inch. All right, so you can uh, top stitch everything down if you like um, on the edge of your placket. And you can also edge stitch the placket on the insides if you like. Um, I'm not gonna do that, uh, it's totally optional, but um, I'm gonna give everything a good press and then we're going to attach our collar. All right, so I've gone ahead and I have pressed down my uh, placket and 
uh, top stitched. So now we're going to um, put this to the side for a second and we're gonna work on our collar. So grab your collar and you should have a interfaced one uh, collar piece and with right sides together, we're gonna go ahead and stitch around the outer edge of our collar, leaving this opening here at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. All right, so I've gone ahead and pressed my collar. Now I'm going to grab your jumpsuit and we're gonna pin our collar band to our neck edge. So um, first we are pinning the interfaced um, collar band to the neck edge and you're going to be matching up your notches. It is going to um, hang over just a little bit past your placket. So you should have all your markings there. With the right sides together, go ahead and pin. Go ahead and head over to the machine and we're gonna be starting at our first dot and ending at the dot on the edge over here. Stitching at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Alright, so first I'm going to go ahead and cut into my seam allowance because this is a curved seam. So I'm just trimming, making sure not to cut my seam allowance. And go ahead and press your collar band up. Um, so now you're going to grab your collar that we already pressed out. And now we're going to be uh, pinning it to the marking at the top of our collar band. All right, so match your markings. You should also have notches. We're gonna match our notches up as well. So you've got your collar pinned to your collar band. And starting at our marking, we're gonna go ahead and base down at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Once you have based it your collar down, go ahead and grab your uninterfaced uh, collar band. And I've gone ahead and pressed down five eighths of an inch seam allowance. And we're going to trim it down to one fourth of an inch. All right, so I've um, trimmed down uh, one fourth of an inch on my collar band. And this is on our double notched edge, okay? So go ahead and through all layers, we're going to match right sides together to our collar band going right over our collar, okay? So go ahead and pin. Now we're stitching through all layers and we're gonna start at the edge of our placket. You should have a marking there and we're stitching at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance all the way around our collar band. All right, let's head over to the machine. I want to go over my existing stitches that we based it down. So I turned it wrong side facing me and we're gonna go ahead and stitch at 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Starting right at that placket, the edge of that placket. All right, so go ahead and trim down your seam allowance on your collar band and then 
give everything a good press. And we're going to be edge stitching our collar and our collar band. And we're also going to be catching our collar on the inside. So go ahead and give everything a good press and meet me back here. I'm gonna be hand tacking down my collar band. So I've gone ahead and pinned down my collar band. It's a little bit easier for me so I don't have the needles in the way. Um, you don't have to do this. You can uh, catch your seam allowance on your collar band on the outside if you like. But um, I, I like to do it this way so that I can avoid all of the, the needles when I'm top stitching. So we're gonna edge stitch around our collar and also around our collar band. And this just makes it a little bit easier for me. All right, so go ahead and give everything a good press and then head over to the machine and we're gonna edge stitch our collar and our collar band. All right, so if you're doing view A, the next step is going to be to attach your sleeves. Um, we are doing view B in this sew along, so to add our buttonholes to our right placket and sew on your buttons and hem our pant legs. All right, we are all done. 